Papa John's new bacon cheeseburger pizza. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Back in the old stomping grounds. I know you missed this background, so I added another picture for you. But what do I got today? We're jumping right in. A couple other food reviewers have done this already. Nick Manzioni, as well as Brandon from the SAS, Snack Food Appreciation Society. They have done this, what's in this box. It came out five days ago, February 2nd, and uh, I'm gonna knock it out. It's Papa John's new bacon cheeseburger pizza. So if you remember a year ago, uh, Papa John's came out with their cheeseburger pizza and it went over very well. But I just had my delivery guy, Joe, cigar aficionado, uh, at my local Papa John's, drop this off and uh, we'll see if they did it proper. I'll be right back with the magic of editing. We see the cheese and the crust and the meat. The beef, got the dill pickle, and I did Roma tomatoes on half, and then you also see the bacon. So yeah, I don't like tomatoes, but for the sake of the review, I kept half on. We are back, and if you noticed, I didn't mention, I got this cut in squares. I know, all you pizza aficionados out there are like, what? What's this guy doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Cause this is a this is a bacon cheeseburger pizza. What am I gonna eat? get it slice it triangle style? No, I got some ideas. So we cut it in squares. Plus, as a kid, I always liked the middle parts, middle squares. What do you want from me? So let's uh, turn it on the side, open it back up. Definitely getting a combination of the the cheese as well as the um, the pickle. What I also did was what I do at uh, Papa John's uh, frequently is I order it the way I do. But then on the bottom, when you order it online, I did extra sauce. So they got the steak sauce on here, which makes it uh, that uh, cheese, bacon cheeseburger pizza. So I got extra sauce, because sometimes they're a little light on the sauce, but I found if you order it extra sauce, there's never too much sauce, at least in my travels. So uh, let's dig into a slice here. There you go. Let's take a closer look. There you go, the pickle, Roma tomatoes, the meat, bacon, right up down there. Photo op, wish me luck. Bacon cheeseburger pizza. Side note, my delivery guy, Joe, gave me a little insight and said that this has been selling uh, better than the original a year ago. So, wish me luck. Wow. And the steak sauce is a orangey. You see the steak sauce in there? It's like an orange steak sauce. Oh, let me get another bite here. Mm. Hmm. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Hold on. Yeah, it's a three biter. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you something in a minute. The dill pickle is a, such a nice complement to this, where it's not overpowering of a puckery sour mess, which I was afraid of. But the standout, the standout, the Brad Pitt. Is he even relevant anymore? The standout of this pizza burger is this sauce. And the sauce, it even mixes with the meat, gives you that kind of um, hamburger helper type taste. So, but it all works. I'll tell you, the bacon's a little masked. They're a little light on the bacon on this one. And I didn't mind the Roma tomatoes in there. Let's even take one out. I'm not even a big tomato guy, but yeah, it just works. Oh. 
So yeah, to break it down, the combination of the cheese and all of the toppings, I'm gonna go over the toppings again. With each bite, they just blend together with that sauce. That sauce is the standout star of this pizza. Whatever it is, mixes so well with all of the accoutrement of all of the ingredients. Um, it is a party in your mouth. If you're a cheeseburger fan, hamburger fan, burger fan, and on the side you dabble in pizza, you should try this because it is good. Kind of mad I didn't try the one last year, but what are you gonna do? So, but before we rate this, let's try something. I got a little idea, which is another reason why I cut it in squares. So, let's try this. You can't have a cheeseburger without ketchup. Some of you may like mayonnaise. I only had Miracle Whip. I'm a Hellman's guy. But we had a little bit of Miracle Whip. And that's a knife. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take two of these middle pieces, right here. There you go. Two of these middle pieces. I'm gonna take some ketchup. Put a little ketchup on top. I'm not even being stingy. I don't even know if this is gonna be good. Did I just ruin a pretty good pizza? Little bit of mayo. One side, everything working there. We'll take the smaller side, put it on top, make ourselves a little cheeseburger sandwich. So wish me luck. Papa John's <laughs> bacon cheeseburger pizza sandwich. There we go. Amazing. How many other times are you gonna be able to put ketchup and mayonnaise on a pizza and have it work? It works. So there you go. Let's rate it, shall we? So on a scale from one to 100, with one being do not even waste your money, or 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm gonna give the new Papa John's cheeseburger bacon pizza a rating of 92, 92. Yeah, just a little bit over nine out of 10 for all you laymen out there. Amazing, amazing pizza. I am a fan of this. I endorse this and I wanna thank Joe again and everyone over at my local Papa John's for doing it right. So there you go. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. And we'll see you soon with another review. Bye. Bye.